Namaste, let me my star seeds. I hope all is well with you guys. I see you my love and my abundance and prosperity. Well, I should say I send y'all love and light abundance and prosperity. I send y'all love and light abundance and prosperity. Well, also my love. I love y'all. All right, I share my light and my abundance with you guys. My abundance of gifts, okay? My prosperous visions that I see for you guys. But yeah, happy Thursday. Happy Jupiter Day. I hope you guys have an ascended day today. So, you guys could have, like, definitely been feeling someone trying to, like, block you and hold you back. Keep you in, like, a lot of self-doubt. Like, yeah, like, I feel like someone, like, doubts you and they want you to be doubtful. Like, someone may even doubt, like, you, like, who you are, even, like, your personality. Like, they may try to say things like, you're not really that way. I really know you. And they don't even know you. Look, they're snooping and spying on you. Could be driving by. I've been picking up a lot of stalking energy. So, these stalkers been getting exposed, okay? Somebody could be going to a psychic or a tarot reading. They could be watching tarot readings on social media. You could be a psychic tarot reader on social media and they're stalking you. And someone was definitely plotting on driving by your home just to see, like, how your home is. Like, like somebody want to come in your home or something like that. I don't know. Like, y'all be careful. Okay? But, um, I told y'all, again, pictures. I feel like somebody was doing picture magic. Like, a third party was doing picture magic on you. I keep getting this third party energy doing picture magic on y'all. And this person is toxic. All right? I feel like, um, hold on. This karmic could be trying to deny their toxicity or trying to deny that they're doing anything. Like trying to say they don't even know you and you the one coming with toxic energy. But it's definitely them. Some of you guys, I don't even know who this third party is. So how, you know, how the hell are you projecting toxic energy? It's like it's somebody who you don't even know sending you toxicity, confusion. All right, I feel like there's a lot of drama, okay? And someone is like watching all this drama unfold here, okay? This could be you guys too seeing all this shit unfold. Somebody have addictions. Alright, somebody feel like there's an egg on their face here. I feel like somebody is sick and tired of having, like, an egg on their face. I need to tap into this because there's some confusion. Like, there's a third party that, that don't know you, but they're creating all these lies and illusions around your name. Like, they may, they, yeah, this may be, like, an associate. Maybe you met them once at one conversation, or they just been stalking you online because they connected with an ex, and they don't want this ex to get caught up in any drama, and they trying to, like, find a way to get you out of the picture because they think you trying to send them, like, drama, negative energy. Like, this person, this karma got flies around her, around her energy, her aura. Like, she got, like, dark energy here, and I feel like she goes to, like, psychic. She may claim she's a better psychic than you. All right, or she, like she, ooh, or she know a psychic. She can go to another psychic that knows how to like block you or something like that. Like, yeah, I feel like this karmic could even been like someone online that's like, oh, I'm gonna block you. Like they could have blocked you online or some shit like that. So a lot of you guys, you don't even know when they're stalking you because they got you blocked online. Look, you see that car going off. I feel like this karmic. I feel like an alarm is going off because they could have tried to like tap in your energy, and they got like warned. Okay, somebody trying to break into your property, the alarm is going to go off. I see them running away, but that person, you know, that was their own car. All right. I feel like this third party is trying to figure out whatever signs is around them, and it's making them confused, and these signs is like warnings. Like, they're not getting what they expected. Like they don't get it like somebody like just don't get like their downloads it's because they're not getting any downloads i feel like somebody keeps trying to like watch tarot readings or spying on a, a psychic or even you and trying to like you know receive downloads about you and this third party situation to see if you a third party like they don't they, they don't need to be doing that all right and it's like if they too afraid to ask you then they know it's nonsense like they need to call on spirit to clear up their energy because they got too much toxicity why is toxic love here look 
Toxic Love Lovers came out. This is a third party that's in hiding. There's a third party in hiding, like, watching y'all, stalking y'all. And she thinks she's going to have, like, some high favor over you. Like, she's going to be sitting in this high fa highly favored throne, this highly favored seat, this nine of cups. It's like, I'm getting, she like, listen, she's attached to whoever this karmic ex is. All right, listen, y'all, for some of you guys, you don't even know who this lover is. She just spying on you. She just spying on you and your tarot readings. She may be thinking that you you could be a third party or you a potential, like, third party or victim. Like, this broad is crazy. All right, but it's like she thinks she's going to be in the Nine of Cups. But, no, that's what I was saying. Like, she she's greedy. Like, this is someone that wants this man because he gives her a nice time. Like, he, like, he satisfies her. Like, I feel like it's sex. Like, it's sex. That's what it is. She gets, like, she's sad. Because the Nine of Cups is also satisfaction. I'm getting straight satisfied. Like, she's satisfied with him. And she's like, you know, that's the one. Look, the one is at the bottom of the deck. She's stressing over his dick. She's stressing over, like, who 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 he's creating babies with. Who else he's having sex with. All right. Like, honestly. What did I say before? There's a, it's like, y'all don't know this third party? Oh, yeah, there's a third party in hiding watching you you know saying f you and shit like oh f that or just like you know it's just weird i've been telling y'all this this broad thinks she's gonna win all right that's also wish fulfillment like i feel like she could have felt like this is the man she manifested but i don't feel like he loved her and if he is creating new babies with, with someone else it ain't you I feel like he is having sex with other people, and she may know, and she may think you one of them. This is, like, it could be, like, up to nine people after y'all because y'all have gifts. All right, I feel like some of you guys, y'all may be online or starting to be online, okay? And I feel like you could have started off with, like, nine views, and that made you happy, and then y'all ended up blowing up a whole new you know opportunity came in for you as far as like with your business and i feel like this bitch is intimidated by your business she's holding on you know it's like she's holding a grudge against you and it's like she's holding on some type of like a, she has like this like some type of attachment to your business this you could have like an online spiritual business or you could be a, a psychic tarot reader online She's attached to, like, watching you, all right? And she don't want you to know that it's her. She wants you to think that it's somebody else. And she wants you to think that it's whoever this other person is is crazy. And it's like, you may know it could be her and that other person. Whoever she's trying to blame it on. This could be, like, a, a circle that you was once around friendships, all right? I feel like this person, they're really confused. They're, like, really confused about where their money going to come from right now. Like, they want to be this queen of pinnacles. They may want to be a business owner or start a business, but they just don't know how. They don't have the confidence in people around them. It's not giving them the confidence here. I feel like they're restricted financially to start a business. This is someone that may scam, rob, or steal from others. Y'all be careful, okay, because somebody could be um a thief or robber. Y'all just keep your doors locked, okay? Y'all keep your doors locked, okay? I don't know. Somebody in your family may boost still okay i don't know maybe you i don't know somebody thinking that that karma may jump on y'all that, that ain't got nothing to do with y'all all right whatever your family do you just stay away from that but i feel it could be an earth sign that's confusing you could be a queen of pentacles and, and this broad want to be like you she's nervous to be around you even though she thinks she's like you she thinks she's like you but she's in the nine of wands she's in a lot of worry and she's financially restricted and this is like this is someone that 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 try to like steal from innocent people or people who they think are naive that shit gonna backfire y'all need to stay away whoever you know that may steal you need to stay away from them it could be someone in your family you just stay away because that shit gonna backfire i see police following them all right somebody could be running from the cops y'all be careful there's a lot of inmates escaping and shit like that all right i feel like they saw listen they be seeing them on the cameras escaping and i feel like they allowed them to I ain't gonna say they allowed them to escape in the sense of, alright, go. But I feel like they, they, uh, you know, I feel like they allow it in the sense of just to see what they're gonna do. And see if they're gonna be able to, like, I guess, actually find them. It's almost like a game that they play. That's what I'm seeing. Because when, did y'all see that article of the guy who, who escaped prison? I'm seeing, with this snooping, I'm seeing two people watching the cameras. Alright, they saw him escaping. Alright, and if they set off an alarm, I feel like they obviously did it too late because they allowed him to escape. That's what I feel. I feel like they already knew. The judge knew his ass, you know, knew that his ass was escaping. Whatever judge assigned him to go to jail, like, they already knew. I don't know why his mom popping up, okay? But anyway. 
But anyway, let's um yeah, I feel like somebody wanted to destroy you because you are intuitive. They wanted to stop your energy. Yeah, and I feel like they went to like, you know, a high priest, a practitioner to steal your gifts, to remove your gifts from you. This is sad. This is like the same old energy. This person be thinking of doing the same thing and you still prosperous. It's like they wanted to rip you and strip you of your gifts because they know that you're going to be prosperous. Whatever your gifts, talents, or skills are is going to make you prosperous. But it's like you're not codependent on that. This is... This is a natural gift. This is naturally for you. Like, they can't take this from you. All right? I feel like, you know... Hold on. I feel like this is someone that knows they're going to be in the Three of Swords here. All right? Like, the outcome is going to be a non-good outcome. But they still try to team up with somebody else thinking that they can win. And they, they still lost. It's like somebody... I see, like, someone's family arresting this karmic. Like, I feel like their family may arrest them. That's what I should say. Yeah, I said that and I saw the Eight of Swords. All right. This person did something to, to you, try to harm you. I feel like they're going to end up arrested here. All right. They're going to end up regretting it. All right. You guys may even, I'm saying you may cut somebody. Somebody may try to like attack you or something, come for you. I'm saying you guys have like a pocket knife, a blade or something like that. All right. But. Let me keep going. I see a lot of, like, gold coins. These are, like, rewards. See, I don't know if you guys could be, like, recording artists or whatever like that or in a past life. Okay, this is giving me, like, record labels. Maybe you guys have goals and dreams to go gold, platinum. All right, but I'm seeing, like, these are, like, rewards, like, spiritual rewards, achievements. I talked about this. You're about to receive the fruits of your labor, your rewards. All right, for the hard work you put in. All right, and I feel like you guys already done put in a lot of hard work. With the Seven of Pentacles. And you're about to receive more fruits of your labor. This is like you guys getting prepared for that Nine of Pentacles. And I feel like you guys are doing a lot right now. And your future self is in that Nine of Pentacles. I feel like you guys are naturally, spiritually in that Nine of Pentacles too. A free spirit, abundant spirit, a prosperous spirit. But it's like you guys want to like, you know, shift in a sense. Right? So it's like you want to achieve more for yourself obtain you know more abundance for you because you know you can't stay at the same level that you are in that's why you guys are planting so many other seeds so you can branch out and expand and this is i feel like whatever you're doing is helping people along the way here all right i feel like your karmics are denying depression and, and they're denying the fact that hold on with this eight of cups Yeah, but this, I'm getting, they deny that they walked away. Yeah, I feel like, honestly, I feel like someone may even, like, you know, confess that they never walked away from you. And, like, yes, they've been, been depressed because they've been stuck on you this whole time, all right? This person could have been in denial, all right, for the longest. And, you know, now it's, the truth is coming out. feel like they need healing they they need to heal to get rid of these demons somebody could be very flighty you know they're not really they have commitment issues they have a hard time being committed and i feel like they broke a lot of people heart it could even broke your heart you had to heal from this and now you guys are overcoming becoming more optimistic healing your emotions and, and feeling new emotions here and i feel like you guys are taking action on on how you feel intuitively all right yeah you're making it's like you're taking Ta taking action and making plans intuitively and i feel like part of those plans is cutting certain people out of your life that just come with a lot of messy energy it's like a back and forth of you know them saying you need healing when you say that they need healing it's like they was gaslighting you they need healing they need extend like what ex ex what's substantial healing what substantial healing there we go they need a lot of healing you guys they need a because they have a lot of karma karmic it's like they have a they still like i ain't gonna lie to you they still like connected with their generational curses all right and it could be generation generational curses through sickness mental sickness or just like their karmic ways all right their karmic debt they're still tied to that and i feel like they try to come out of that way too quickly and it caused a tower all right it's almost like they try to come out of it by like you know disconnecting the cords with all their karmic debt all right and i actually see somebody trying to do that with magic all right but it blew up in their face because they have to heal they can't just detach from it because they act exactly like that 
It's like the the gods, the spirits rejected them. They was doing spell work. They was trying to work with the spirits, the gods here. And I feel like everything they did backfired because they need to, you know, complete this cycle the right way by properly walking away, first of all, from you. All right, them stay, still being attached to you and, and, and trying to harm you and also be possessive is a part of them still being attached to those, you know, generational curses. Because I feel like they may come from a bloodline that's very possessive, controlling, narcissistic, basically. Six of Wands and Shadow Energy could be narcissistic. I feel like these people treated you badly and treated you like a narcissist because you a high priestess and your ass knew the truth and you ain't want to deal with them. But they wanted to reconnect with you because you a high priestess, but yet you a narc in their eyes. I told you, somebody going to get arrested. It's like someone is like plotting and planning like or an arrest or something like that. All right, I'm seeing like two detectives okay and with this strength card all right i feel like someone feels like strongly that they are going to be in jail all right that they're going to go to jail <laughs> or someone can feel strongly in that eight of swords energy like just in fear paranoid stuck all in their head they feel powerless the past got them feeling powerless like yeah they're stuck and in like stuck in between like the past like they can't not move forward from the past that's how they feel all right, they try to move on, but they get blocked by a demon and just get sent right back down. You know, I feel like this is someone that tried to ascend too quickly and they tapped into like a rabbit hole. All right, I do feel that way. I'm sorry, y'all. We was talking about the third party. And I feel like this, yeah, this is also connected with the third party to try to ascend too fast. A lot of these people... They are in denial because they're like, I'm not usually like this. Things usually work out for me. You know, I'm usually, I'm used to get, they're used to getting their way, but they never went to God. They never really went to their higher self or their spirit or their ancestors. They always went and followed ego and followed what other people say, what other masculine said. All right. I feel like this is someone that, that you know, I, I feel like this is someone that could have, you know, been touched as a child as well. So they have a lot of traumas that they're not, that, 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 that is holding them back and they're not healing from it. All right, but this is someone that follow masculines a lot, like what masculines say. All right, and I feel like I feel like there was a masculine in their family that that like had power and dominated over them, which is wrong, which caused them to be so like you know I guess combative. All right, caused them to fight a lot, just be like you know rebellious because of that happened, and I feel like it's time for them to do the shadow work to heal, so that power that person won't have power over them anymore and it won't make them depressed and empty and, and combative. All right, I feel like, you know, it was a karmic thing that happened and it's time to release that. All right, send that heavy burden back to that person. All right, because they the ones who came and, and, and attacked that person and they was in the wrong. Okay, so send that shit back. All right. But I feel like that's what it is. These karmics, they never dealt things the righteous way. They always did things, the, you know, the karmic way because that's all they knew and that's how they react and respond to things because of what they've gone through. Coming up. All right, whoever this third party is, I feel like that's what it is. That's why she has attachment, not attachment issues, like abandonment issues. Like she hates feeling abandoned by, by masculines. And she is projecting a lot to you, like you're toxic, you're toxic. But she's harboring up so much pain in the inside. All right, and um, she needs to heal that. All right, that's why she's projecting that you're toxic because she has toxic energy in her womb. That creates a lot of this toxicity in her environment. All right. She handled her emotions in a toxic way. All right. And, she, you know, she just don't understand that or see that about herself because she is, um, her vision is blocked by ego. All right. Her third eye vision. She only sees things from a material perspective. So it's like there's no point of even battling with these people because they, they it's like there's no purpose in it in a sense of, like, you got to see them down and out and fall. Like, like you know, you got to... Not not like that in the sense of them falling apart. They put that on themselves. And y'all will see it because that's what they try to do to you. But there's, there's no point of you going out your way to try to expose them. There's no point of you going out your way, you know, to try to knock them down and run them over. Like, uh-uh. Give that energy to God, obviously, right? Just allow, allow things to unfold. Because like I said, them trying to do it to you is backfiring on them. All right, but it's just not worth it because this person, their 3D, it's like their perspective is just different from yours. It's off. It's like, if anything, you need to call on spirit to protect you, you know, from their negative energy anytime they're around. Because this is someone, they truly do believe that you could be doing something to them. Because in their mind, 
in their mind, that's their purpose. Whatever they claim they're fighting for, whoever this toxic lover is, all right, whatever they claim their life is, whatever they claim his destiny is. So they're willing to unalive you in the physical. Like, they will take it there without even thinking, like, how are you spiritual? How are you connected with the divine or with your divine or with your destiny? If you got to go out your way to physically unalive someone, even do it with magic, it's still wrong. All right, so this person, they're delirious. They're delusional. It's best to just walk away from them. They're, they're a clown. They're stirring up a lot of drama, and they would rather kill for this soul contract with whoever this karmic is and send spiritual attacks to whoever stands in their way. You remember I made that post talking about the, the false twin flame? This karmic is with a false twin, and they're looking at you as a victim, all right, because they're jealous of you, and they feel like you're sending them and their love of spiritual attacks. They're, and they're around a lot of toxic people that got demons, Okay, that could be encouraging. Is that's not seeing things clearly and just telling them, you know, go with what you feel. But sometimes going with what you feel it ain't right because it's fear. This person fear of, of this person being with you or whoever got them thinking all these things. And y'all not like that. And it's like even if you try to go out your way to, to say this, this person just won't listen. I feel like they're they got a lot of chaos around them. They're filled with chaos because of what they gone through in their their childhood, and they don't want nobody to know this, or be, they, they want to, like, I guess, they don't want this to be exposed, but honey, first of all, you ain't the first one or the last that gone through this, and you holding on to it, holding it in, and absorbing it, uh, acting like it don't hurt you, is making you worse, all right, this karma may lose their job, I feel like everything is going to crumble because they're sending you spiritual attacks, all right, they need to face their, their demon, that demon is what happened to them as a child, and whatever else that, that's been following them, divine intervention is happening, it's stopping this damn demon, they want to reconcile with this false twin with this ex for some of you guys you may have even regretted this person being an ex because you didn't realize they had all these damn toxic ass third parties following them everything was in harmony um for you all right well with you at one point all right you was in harmony you were resolving a lot of issues a lot of karmic debt not just with this ex or whoever whoever this person is all right, and, you know, things was getting back together for you. You was, like, gluing the pieces back together, gluing your heart back together, fix, you know, getting the pieces together. And here you go, this third party. Coming in, trying to destroy everything now because, listen, under, listen, they can't destroy everything. All right, but understand this is happening for you, well, two, yeah, for you. All right, because you guys are shifting into a whole new beginning. And it does not include this karmic energy. So this is like this karmic final showdown with you. But like I said, you don't got to do anything. Give it to God. This is this is bigger than you. Because her issues that she have is is, is is not with you. It's with the most high and it's with universe. Because she's fighting against what's right. What's in alignment. And that's you in alignment. With your life, your new life. She's jealous of the fact that you're moving forward. And she's thinking in her mind, oh, he's probably with you now because you got things going good for you and, and shit ain't happening for me. No. And if he did try to come back, they ain't got shit to do with you. She is a jealous hater and very spiteful. All right. And she, and she don't, I'm getting, she don't get this. She don't get how, you know, bad things can happen to a person to wake them up or to help them teach, a, to help teach them a lesson. They figured, your black phone right here. She figured, oh, why something can't good happen for me to learn a lesson? But well, there's no lesson in it. You know, that like oh, my whole thing is you didn't need to learn a lesson as far as like codependency, trust issues, feeling like the victim, feeling abandoned. You wouldn't have to go through that because you already dealt with that. You know, people, we go through this so we can transmute that sadness into happiness, that fear into love, that anger into peace. You know, you can't try to change up your Akashic record by saying, you know, I'm going to erase all the bad and all the things that's supposed to change me, okay, and, 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 and just buck them all good, all positive. Like, if you haven't done any work in the shadow to attract that positive, you're just going to bring a whole bunch of negative. That can potentially unlock you into that light. But you're just calling in all these extra tests in your life. Calling in all these problems. Trying to ignore the obvious. You trying to run from the demon. You trying to run from the issue that's already there. It's going to face you. It's going to follow you and face you one day. You can't change your posture as far as like just making everything good. And just take out all the bad. Because earth is polarity. You are light and dark. If you want to look at it. From a good or bad perspective, a part of you is good, and another part of you is bad. 
you your purpose a lot of our purposes in life is to become one with that and then when we go back into the astral uh, that part of us that's on and on this planet our soul will transcend back into our higher self not nowhere else bound okay but I feel like, you know, this karmic and the ex, if this is like an ex that's connected with a third party, they are both living double lives. They're both liars, deceptive, and they're both in another relationship. I told you they're both fucking around on each other. Like, this is a man that may even watch porn, you know, have other women pictures in his phone. All right, that's mixed races, white, black, Spanish, okay, Irish, I'm getting redheads. I did mention a redhead. All right, and I feel like, you know... The reason why, you know, this third party may think that you are with this person is because you are an impress and you love yourself. So that self-love is attractive. So she figured he have a potential to love you while I'm in the background hurting. She needs to heal herself and get over this constant makeup and breakup cycle. It's a toxic cycle that she's in. It's like opposite attracts, yes, but that attraction is sometimes a lesson to teach you parts of yourself and themselves y'all attracted each other to learn that lesson all right and sometimes the opposite of track may not be your usual type but if they're good for you you know it's all about discernment and knowing what's best for you too sometimes we know what's best for us and what's worse for us but we'll go with the worst thinking that it'll be different this time and we that then and there we're not trusting what in god because that's what that's what god is telling us about this person it's not going to get any better it's going to get worse but you giving it the benefit of the doubt so you listening to your demons temptation you don't want to call it a demon then whatever you want to call it your shadow your ego all right but i feel like with this different spiritual beliefs when like you and this karmic have different spiritual beliefs and they don't look at you as spiritual though because you may believe in something all right that they don't believe in. I'm getting like, you know, voodoo. Like you, and I'm getting like Ifa. I, I always pop up. All right, y'all may be tapped into African spirituality. I feel like they tapped into that shit too, that dark side too. But voodoo is not dark. But I feel like they tapped into the dark side of magic. I do, I feel that, and I feel like they do, you know, they claim they fuck with the, the African spirituality, the African side, but they trying to make it seem like you doing something bad to them, they even telling their friends this, you don't even know this fucking person, they're making it seem like you are bringing their life down, like their life is like falling apart because of you, no, it's falling apart because they won't let go of this constant cycle, they keep, they made a decision to stay in this toxic energy, and I feel like someone is extremely confused, like this karmic especially, and they could be trying to confuse you, because they're playing around with confusion spells, alright, I feel like, you know what, I honestly, y'all, this could be an ex that thought about popping up, I feel like he, listen, he or she may be thinking about you, but you making it rain, you're not thinking about them, this ex need to, get, this karmic, alright, or, or this could be a, a karmic ex, ex, they need to get a grip and love themselves, all right? And these people want to say you live in a double life because you a high priestess. They see you a high priestess. You sexy, beautiful, abundant, confident. You love yourself. You got your power back and you're happy. So now you you got to be out here fucking around, being a Jezebel, you know. Nah, like they, listen, this person feels dumb and stupid for even sending you spiritual attacks. But yet they keep sending them because they just can't get over this false twin flame. They're hurting over a false twin. And as they be like, I'm sick and tired of going through this cycle. God, please just fix it. Bring him back to me. Like, why are you so codependent on this man making you happy? Like, this broad may lose her job behind this false twin who she thinks is a twin. All right, I feel like he is. Hmm? No, I'm not buying that. She feel like she's the chaser and he's the runner. But I feel like he's not even in her energy, her energetic field. Like, he's not attached to her. At all. Typically, those runners, they are attached to you at, at one point, which, and they'll be running back. Okay, and they'll be chasing you. But my whole thing is, I feel like she is chasing him, and I feel like he is running from her. But I feel like, yes, he's running from commitment, but it's, it's like he's running from uh, not just commitment, but having a relationship with her as a whole. It's not even just about him not wanting to work on his feelings with, like, you know... That like running from his feelings, I should say, running from you know doing the work or the healing. I feel like he is just simply not her twin flame. He's a false twin. 
He just like I this man don't want to be with her. He don't want her. He could have found somebody else. I feel like she's going to be in a constant loop thinking this man is her twin. She's hurting right now over a false twin. She believes this is her twin and that you're trying to come in between her and her twin. That what she believes. This is and, it, and this shit is scary because there's real there's people out here obviously in real life out here thinking that you trying to sabotage their listen this is a whole ex he broke up with her and that's what this listen he may still be effing her on the low and that's all he doing he's he put her back in the position where she belonged a third party uh hit it quit it a sex thing i'm hearing sex theme this bitch i feel like honestly again i feel like all she wants is sex too like that, I feel like this is a succubus, attracted to an incubus, and he's like, hell nah, bitch, we ain't, uh-uh, that's not gonna work. She's in question. People are, like, looking at her side, like, are you all right? I, I get you caught up in this love triangle, but you know he been unfaithful from day one. How dare you try to put this on a beautiful, divine feminine, all right, or masculine, because this person's unfaithful. Look. They thinking about this ex. They trying to say it's you. You thinking about them. They're thinking about they want they feel like it's unfinished business. Now flip flop the roles, you guys. Now this could be your ex thinking you thinking of them and all this extra stuff. But for some of you guys, this listen, your ex could have told this third party all this stuff about how you thinking of them and you crying and missing them. And that's why that really got this bitch toxic and jealous. And that's why she's so after you because she believes that these people are distractions in your life. They're not meant to be in your life. They're only meant to distract you. All right, this bitch is a distraction, and somebody could be trying to like send you distractions as well towards your crown. All right, so you, I, I'm guessing it's supposed to, you know, mess up. You know, you, you're. I'm getting magnetic. I guess the electromagnetic field around your crown that helps you magnetically attract your messages and downloads. Okay, your intuition as well. They're trying to like, send distractions so you won't focus on that. Pick that up. All right, they're crazy, all right? They always, like, I feel like they want to keep your your crown overworked. All right, this person kept you waiting long enough, this ex, and you could even told this third party. This flimmy guy, you could have told the third party, I waited on this man long enough, and I'm tired. I feel like that's all she heard was that you was waiting on him long enough. She didn't hear you waited on him long enough, and, and, and you don't want him anymore. Because when you was waiting for him, he didn't want you. If he wants you now, they ain't got nothing to do with you. But all she heard was kept you waiting. Like, boy, well, you, you, you was waiting and he did keep you waiting for a while she feel like they're supposed to get married and like yeah they ain't no communication right now but it's because you know he's facing karma for breaking up with her and and he is going to go to jail again and he may face life if he keep fucking around like she may even think that he's throwing attacks at her but she ain't saying nothing and she think you the main one attacking this bitch is crazy i feel like these people are jealous because you're making it rain too it's like a whole group of people i feel like her friends all right, as well, specifically, they all watching you, hating on you because you making it rain. You doing your thing. And they acting childish like, oh, they secretly watching you online. If you a tarot reader online or you do, you create content online, they're like, they're watching you secretly. And they're acting very childish, very immature, arguing against the stuff that you're saying you do. Trying to play the victim and say, oh, you know, what about when you did this to me, when you did that to me, when you did this to that person, you did that to that person, and my ex and my twin flame... You know, like, this shit, this person's going crazy over this this person. They don't, they could be doing magic on them shit, because they going fucking crazy over their asses. I don't think you would have them be, this. Is, I don't think you'll be doing spell work on them, Starseeds, or anyone, and then they know about it. And they doing all this shit, you know, to you, and nothing is fucking working. I think they would have found out by now the truth. Y'all know, but y'all ain't really taking action because it's not worth it. And I just told y'all it ain't worth it, so don't go out your way. This person is secretly destructive. Secretly, you know, unstable. They And I'm getting secretly because they try to hide it. They try to avoid their unstable side, their unstable mind. It's like, and, and I feel like they know they unstable. Like, this is someone, they may be right about a few things, got in their way a few times, but the time has time for them to stop because they took advantage of the fact that they may have once known things picked up on things before all right or things went their way all right and it's like the god is tired of them throwing that tower like and i feel like this person's not following the intuition i feel like the intuition is telling them no but their fucking evil ass ego is saying yes all right i feel like she's also avoiding her true feelings the true feelings of that she feel this man avoiding her if anything he be hiding from her 
All right, he. I feel like she'd be like, oh, he calling me. He just stand the third, but I don't feel like they're communicating right now. All right, and I feel like she feel guilty, like it's her fault. Like, like I feel like they. I, I, oh my God, yeah, I don't know. Even when they was talking, it's like the energy just was not good. But I don't know, like she's obsessed with you in this ex and she's a, like if you guys provide spiritual guidance online she's obsessed with that and she's calling every single thing out that you say is a lie even the stuff that you say about god universe source she needs healing she needs healing in order to activate her intuition and in her, in her you know i guess her powers in the dream state to control her dreams or you know just be able to like i guess go back to her dreams i don't know she needs to heal to unlock her true gift. She, but she's constantly trying to pull from your power. Your manifestation power. She's lying on this man. Saying that this man says certain things about you. Alright. Y'all need to be careful. She's dangerous. I feel like he did say some things. But I feel like she added in some other stuff. Which was a lie. Alright. So yeah. I see I see y'all living in a new like place soon. So I feel like y'all. This shit gonna be over soon. Alright. I will hope this ain't no stalking ass neighbor thinking that. You want they person, like, they person could live with them. And they thinking you looking at they person or some shit. And they could be sending you spiritual attacks. These people. And I feel like it's crazy because I feel like uh, somebody around you, like, I guess in your environment, think y'all are twins. There is, a, And I'm getting, like, there's a karmic feminine that think that y'all are twin flames. Even though they with, like, a karmic masculine. And she may even think that you want her masculine too. But she don't really want him like that. That's exactly what I'm getting. Like, she's more, like, attracted to women. All right, and she's attracted to you and your faith and all that. Okay, that's crazy. And your intuition that y'all could have hanged out. This could have been your friend, your neighbor friend, and y'all used to hang out. All right, but then she started some beef or drama around that man that she don't want. And I feel like she's highly attracted to you. You could be highly attractive. You may attract both sex. You don't mean to, but you may be attracted to opposite sex, the opposite sex. But, you know, I'm getting y'all can't help that y'all attract both sex. I mean, it is what it is. All right, I feel like, you know, either way it goes, people, I feel like around you need to learn a lesson because their soul is not growing, ascending, or maturing. All right, and it's because they refuse, they refuse to, or I should say avoid, they're avoiding the lesson. All right, and they need to also learn a lesson as well because what they did to you was wrong, and that's what's stopping them from growing. All right, but I feel like somebody got caught red-handed. Somebody is trying to say they caught you with a girl. They caught you, like, your secret was exposed. Like, you secretly, like, girls. Like, somebody could have been using their third eye. And they said they saw you fucking a girl. That was a, that was actually a surprise and shocking to you because you don't recall that. All right, they trying to put that shit on you. I feel like that's their past memory or even their past life memory I'm hearing. All right, they trying to say in a past life you was like this this prostitute or some shit like that if you guys were you guys made it rain but i know one thing y'all was not with the same sex all right it looks like opposite sex here all right i feel like somebody was trying to like create some hoopla around that like gossip and drama all right i don't know y'all past i don't know y'all past this lifetime or the past life only only know what i pick up all right but i feel like regardless while this person claimed that they caught you doing some shit you out here in the background making it rain some of you guys could have been a dancer all right, yeah, or a gypsy, a gypsy dancer, all right. I feel like either way it goes, you guys were abundant and you guys were loved, all right. And some of you guys, I'm getting y'all were um, gypsy oracles, all right, and y'all was also loved, okay. Somebody could be judging your past, trying to say there's no way you can be an oracle if you was once a sex worker or something like that. I don't know what your past is, but I feel like only God can judge you and only God can... um choose to elevate you and i feel like you know being sex workers they are demonized they are healers too all right it's just people ain't ain't doing it right anymore is the purpose all about money and, and material looks you know and a man married man is going to these sex workers and shit like it's not supposed to be for that all right but i feel like it's crazy because this bitch that's hurting she could have also had sex for money before all right and i feel like she also go to tarot readings all right and she should be asking the reader how can she make money, not asking the reader if this guy, this ex is giving you money. What the fuck? Or is he giving some like this read I'm telling you the readers that be hearing these karmics, man, I know that I, they be like, This is so childish. Like, listen, this karmic's depressed, and I feel like the reader picked up this person that's childish for even asking that damn question. Yes, I I can pick up on the energy of the reader because I'm getting the 
the reader put this energy out there for it to be known. But anyways, I don't know if y'all this I don't know if this was like a spiritual group and y'all may know the reader. All right, I talked about that before. Okay, Carmen's going to like reader friends and the readers is just being honest. All right, it's no point of lying. All right, but I feel like the reader did pick up that this person was depressed and they they was in pain and sorrow over this person and you focus on making it rain and that they're they're you know, it's their inner child. They need to heal that. The reader instantly saw their inner child that they need to heal. All right. And they're playing the victim. They make it seem like everybody comes for them, but it's like you allow this energy in. You have to. If you know people around you are grimy, why do the moment you find out they should the, the second later they should be kicked out of your energy? Why are they still your friend if you know that that friend is grimy? It's like this person can't explain that because I feel like they low key be doing grimy shit to their friends. All right, I feel like you know, I feel like they thought conflict was going to be resolved from that reading, but I feel like more conflict with within them was just just enraged, just just came about. All right. I said enraged, you guys. That's what I'm getting enraged. <laughs> more conflict just came in. Like, they became even more mad. All right, because they were stubborn. They, they are not admitting that they're hurting because of the pain that they inflicted on themselves going after someone that's an opposite energy of them that just meant to teach them a lesson. All right, they refuse to accept that. They feel like, again, that's my twin flame. You you just a reader that don't know what you're talking about. You could have been the reader. Y'all could have been the reader. All right, you and, and you was like, this is childish. I do feel like whatever reader that read for them, all right, this reader's giving me like, you know, a shadow of like, oh, get, like I'm just over it. Because they could have read for a lot of people that just ask questions like this. And you could be asking questions about self-love, self-healing. And if you know what you need to do, you know what you got to do, you know, then why are you focusing your time and energy on this? You know, like, if you know this person giving you the cold shoulder, y'all broke up, y'all at a distance, y'all separating, but you going around telling people that y'all dating, this is y'all new love, and they apologize. I don't feel like, you know, I don't feel like they apologize for everything, because this cycle is still going on, all right? And and I feel like, you know, this karmic ex, they could they could have popped up to your crib, but it would just bear fighting, or one time they did, it was fighting. But, like, y'all just focus on, you know, yourself right now. Being on social media. All right, a lot of people say that's karmic. Then they want to make you feel bad about it. It's like even people you don't even know, fuck them. They got eggs on their face now. They feel ashamed because the shit backfired. And they got caught for being the crazy one trying to pull you from your power. A lot of these people don't even have jobs or they don't have no goals. They're stuck in life. They're like stuck in this contemplation energy with life. And they are denying it. All right. Yeah, for some of you guys, this could have been a friend. This could have been a karmic fake friend, a fishy friend that got like, I feel like her poems is fishy. This man could even say like her poems is stink. And she want to deny that too. She just denying all the hurt that he that he put on her. All right, and want to make it seem like it's you that got her feeling what she's feeling. But she's like, she, I'm getting like, you know, she's crying because she told you that they got to got back together. And she's trying to make it seem like now that she told you that you've been acting weird and funny. No. When you told her that she was the one that was acting weird and funny. I just don't get or understand it. I just don't get it. I just don't get That's why she was acting weird and funny when she got back with this man. And she crying to another friend saying, I told her that. And now I'm feeling all this extra stuff. All right. Like, honestly... I don't feel like they're back together now. And she's trying to make it seem like they are. In her mind, they're together. But his 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 mind is not on her. He's he's determined to be with someone else who he, he could have fell out with. He's sexing somebody else from his past as we speak. I can't make it up. I can't make it fucking up. Look, he texted, hit up, and met up with someone from his past. She was already thinking about him. This could be his actual, like, twin flame or, like, at least someone we desire right now. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. I feel like that's true. That's probably his twin. A lot of twin flame confusion. A lot of people thinking they with they twin and they with a false twin. And then they beat up with the actual twin. Some twins do it do go in separation. Because the timing is not right, but they typically come back to each other and they ain't coming back together with a whole bunch of baggage. 
And that's and, and this karmic female, she don't realize that he released that. I told you everybody, he released her. It's like he healed that ten of wands by releasing her. And and talking to someone else with this ace of swords had a whole new beginning and she's jealous and mad. Alright, I feel like she's like the Queen of Pentacles in reverse, very mean. She's like very dry, okay, like dry as in stagnant. Alright, some of y'all could be earth signs. All right, yeah, I feel like, oh, my God. I feel like things is coming apart for her. I feel like she could have a hard time seeing out her third eye or, like, you know, using her intuition. All right, her intuition could be dying here. All right, she, this is definitely someone that could have been a witch. Yeah, it's like she came with, like, some, ooh, energy, like, uh-uh. It's like she wants to be seen. She wants all the attention on her. But I feel like people's looking at her as who she truly is. And that's and that's not who she says she is. Alright, this is someone that's bossy, selfish, and flexible. She was not willing to work with this man. Alright, and I feel like, you know, she could have turned him into a narc. Alright, that's what I'm getting with this King of Swords. Like a bit narcissistic or cold. She could have turned him cold and narcissistic towards her. Because he got tired of, you know, her... I, I'm getting like her false judgments, but not even that. It's like it's like he got tired of her calling him out for things that's like not true. And like she was even conjuring spirits from the grave. Like her ancestors, thank you, spirit. Alright, she like I, I guess she, you know, conjured her ancestors, called them in to like bind him. She definitely could have conjured some type of dark energy to keep him bound to her. Like, I feel like she low-key do spell work. All right, and that left her in the Five of Pentacles, and now she's fighting a whole bunch of demons. Trying to win at all costs. I don't even, like, honestly, I didn't, I don't, I don't see how she thought, you know, conjuring zombies was a way to bound him. But it was almost like a curse. Like, a, it, it was like curse him to stay with her. Like, whoever, she, whatever she did, it was not right. All right, it, it, it just caused... Hey, him to be in the Ten of Swords, like it, but like she betrayed him, and and that's he could have found out about it. She didn't think that he would know, and and he feels betrayed. All right, that she would even do that to him. Okay, but with this Ten of Swords, I feel like she tried to unalive him too. All right, I do feel that way. I feel like there's a lot of crisscross connections as well. Alright, yeah, page of wands. <sighs> she was acting very childish, you guys. Oh my gosh, very foolish and childish. Oh my gosh, I feel like she wished for him to die. Alright, this ten of swords, man. I feel like this is like I'm getting, like she don't want to touch this ten of swords. Like she don't want to. You know, get her hands tied or dirty with this Ten of Swords, but she did. Like, that's really weird. Alright, Four of Wands. Ooh. I, I don't know. I feel like this karmic family is after her, too. Like, her bloodline. Alright, I feel. Or his bloodline. Some, listen, yeah, what? I feel like she tried to win at all costs and try to cause, like, an ending in his life. She tried to cause an ending, all right? And this is, like, she's, like, she may even call herself a witch, all right? Or like, she know about witchcraft or she fuck with that shit, all right? I feel like his family gonna be after her ass. They're not even gonna think twice. They may do some shit that, that they may regret, all right? But I feel like um they may even throw some spell work back at her ass. And she may feel like, you know, anybody that do something to me, it's not going to work. It's going to miss. But she put she opened up this damn door. She opened up this damn portal. So that shit may hit her ass. All right, with this chariot, I'm just getting this going forward right back to her. All right? Forward it right back to her ass. All right? I feel like y'all going to be done moved on to a whole new, higher timeline. When all this shit is happening, y'all not even going to be in the fucking picture. It's like these karmas going to think about you and, and be like, damn, like I haven't thought of Divine Feminine in a long time. Right when they caught up in some fuck shit. Right when they about to reach they end. Because they going to do some bullshit to this man thinking they going to get away. Alright, do some shit at the graveyard. Like drop some shit off at the graveyard here. Okay, well she, I'm getting she's even the type to drop some deadly shit off at his house. 
Fuck, I can't make it up, y'all. I cannot make it up. She's gonna do some death spell at night. I feel like she already done tried to unalive you and that shit backfired on her ass. All right, it's backfired on her crown. Like it drove her even more crazy. And that's when she knew that she can't do that shit again. All right, but I feel like she's gonna, like that was her warning. All right, there was, and then she's gonna try to do it again, y'all, because she ain't thinking for herself. She's thinking for this man. All right, and ways to keep him. And, and if I can't have you, nobody can. Yeah, look, plotting and planning. She was thinking that, that he's plotting and planning with you. She's very childish. Y'all, listen, she's thinking that, you know, you planning a future with her, man. She's crazy. She may have a baby by this man. That would just make it even more worse because she's extremely attached. This energy is bad. We have Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy here, and Aries and Aquarius. Y'all, listen, this person needs to slow down. They need to stop talking about you with their friends because I feel like, you know, their friends are encouraging them to come for you. But it's karmic. They're going to be dealing with a lot of karma. Like, all these people need to clean up their energy. They're trying to say, you know, well, how I got to heal because I'm feeling all of this. You feeling all that because your ass is going crazy behind this man. And, and even these friends going crazy behind this this friend that's, that's, that's going crazy over a man. These karmic friends, the, the friends that is cool with the karmic, okay? Trying to confuse your vision. This bitch is confused. Look, this queen of pinnacles, she's very confused. She's, listen, y'all could be earth signs. They gotta resonate. But she's very confused right now. She's going to the wrong person to do spell work to unalive you. And she don't realize that shit is going to fucking backfire on her. But she don't see it coming. She's never going to see it coming. But you do. You see it. And she hate that you can see it. So she's trying to pay even more spells pay for more spells death spells or go into a particular spirit or deity herself all right to open up this portal this timeline of death and i feel like it's being exposed here god came through god separated this separated you from this person because they were doing too much hoodoo wicca all right all right they could have even been doing they could have they they may even have the gift to work with Santeria. And I feel like that gift is being taken away from them. Every time they do any type of spell. Wicca, Hoodoo, Santeria, Voodoo. is going to backfire. Because they was not chosen and called to use this magic to harm when they in their shadow. They supposed to heal and go to the spirits for a solution. A better resolution. I wouldn't care if they find out a thousand people was hexing them. You get at the spirit. That's beyond your power anyway. Alright. This person wanted to be in your position. Your shoes. They wanted to manifest your dreams. All right, you being the nine of cups and the nine of pentacles. This is what you're manifesting. This is you following your dream, your purpose. Your, this, is, this is literally your life. You're going to have a fortunate life. This could even be fame, including with fame. You're going to be known and recognized for your rewards, the good works, good humanitarian works. All right, this could even be you being like, you know, nominated for like, you know, some type of reward at a, a, a charity event. Because they have charity events that also give rewards. Alright, it's like y'all was being y'all being rewarded for being once a novice to now a master for, for once being there for once being a novice and now a master. Like you guys graduated, y'all about to receive y'all diploma. Alright, this is like an earthly graduation. Alright, and you and, and this is the aftermath. Alright, and you and, and it's and it's like you this is like not you graduating high school, this is you graduating college. You got a whole new life in store for you. You graduate and unlock this this new beginning. It was already there in store for you, waiting for you. All you had to do was just do this hard work, and that's exactly what you did. Your life is filled with good luck and fortune, and this Queen of Pentacles know that. So that intimidates her, whoever this false witch is. All right? And that's what intimidates her even more. She wants you to look the opposite direction when it comes down to your, your dreams and stuff. I feel like, you know, all these people want to follow your dreams. You done already unlocked your dreams. They need to do the same. Turn that down, you know. Hold on, I need to fix the cards. Because I had them this way, yeah. So, I want to have them like this. Because I feel like you guys unlocked your destiny. You saw what was in store for you. And I feel like these karmics saw it too. God allowed them to see it. Just to test them. And they try to try to slip through that portal, that, that portal of, of fortune. That will of fortune is a portal. All right, they, they try to hop in that. All right, yup, this is your, your future. All right, a future vision that's unfolding. A blessed, 
blessed new beginning. That's for you, not for them. They don't feel like this is for them. They feel like this is for you. And and they know they got a lot of heavy karma. You see, the thing is, somebody's trying to dispel, remove their karma. Like I said, you cannot remove all the bad and just focus on the good because that's not, that's not life. Being perfect, for me, is not being 100% good. All right, or in that good energy, being perfect is, is is embodying both the light and the dark side of you and, and being one, embracing the, the good and the bad. That's what makes you perfect, you being perfectly imperfect, okay? That's how I look at it, and this karmic is restricted from that perfect side of them, that perfectly imperfect side, because they want to embrace it. They want to embrace ancestors that's not embracing them. They want to, like, embrace ancestors like Papa Legba, but they're, Papa Legba and, 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 and the rest of them on the other side, they're not working with this karmic. They don't even know how. They even say they don't even know how to conjure him or call him in, but they tried. They listened to somebody else that told them. They did try. They did, and they said, I'm following my intuition. My intuition is telling me to do this, to, like, unalive you, to sacrifice you with Papa Legba, to leave you hanged and sacrificed so they can move forward along with this man. And she could have, this could have happened in the recent past. Some of y'all could be wearing, like, a, like a, 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 like a, a, like a dark red lip color. It's very beautiful. All right, but like I said, she could have um did this in the past, and sh and she did move forward with this man. All right, but she didn't stagnate you because you had nothing to do with that, and she owed the spirits now for doing that. Yeah, she owed the spirits big time, and I feel like she went to the spirits a lot. She invested a lot of her money in spirituality to receive what she wants. And I feel like all that came with a price because what she was doing was not right because it was bad. All right, it's like she was taking this man's soul. She was basically asking to, to snatch this man's soul. All right, for hers. I exchanged my soul for his to control his. All right. She didn't realize that's what she did, but she did. She's like, no, that's not what I did. I just asked to be with this man forever. Yeah, but, you know... <laughs> For the, the, the spirit is like, for me to make this man be with you, I will have to do some soul work. All right? Ain't no, it's not the herb. It's not the red candle. It's some soul work because he don't want to be with you. All right? He 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 really wants to move forward. That's why you're here. So I have to bind his soul. In order for me to do that, I got to take power from him. And you the one that wants the power, so it's not going to benefit me. The spirit is like, I'm not going to, you know... Um, do you know have power over him? It's you that's gonna have power over him. I'm just making a way for that for that to work. And they just don't get that. They don't forget how they lost their soul doing this. Cause certain spirits they will reap a soul. They don't want listen. First of all, you ain't supposed to be doing this. And the spirit can't get divine feminine masculine. So they mad at you for calling them in and, and not knowing this, or knowing this and still want to try and waste the spirit time. So that's opening up that door, that portal for that entity to take your soul. Because you open it up for it to come in and to work for you. You don't realize you are exchanging. It's energy exchanging. And that exchange is that, that, that soul. It ain't the, the fruit that you left. Because if that's the case, you asking for, a, you know, I guess a favor. All right. Or like, yeah, that's exactly what it is. Almost like it came out like a favor. Or even though it may have, to her, she's thinking that she's giving an offering and she's good. But no, the spirits did her a favor because this man don't want to be with her. The spirits did a favor. They went against what is, you know, naturally right. And it's, technically it's okay because the spirits can't do this. This person's using their free will to do it. And in the end, the spirits, they see the future. This karma don't. In the end, their karma going to catch up to them. But they may want to be thinking, oh, what about the spirits' karma? Don't they know? You the one that get karma because you have the spirits to do it. And you can't try to change up the universe so the spirits will get karma and not you. You ask the spirits to do this. You know dealing with them dark realms, that can happen. Alright, you may have not been able to like take his soul, but you did have control over it. You did have him as a puppet. And the spirits don't have no care into having him as a puppet. You did. You asked the spirits, have him be bound to me and follow me. So he's following your spirit. You using he he's being used as a puppet. You're you are the puppet master, Karmic. Yeah. Well, Nina, turn that down, please. Turn it down. And it's like she's having a hard time figuring this out. Like she knows she made the sacrifice, but she's like, I just cannot believe how it just worked on me. Like the spirits just took from me.
Well, that was the price to pay. Your soul was the price, Carmen. And that is, if you using you free willingly using your you, you willingly using your free will to give up your soul for someone else. And I picked up karmics that have done that because they thinking they're going to get the benefits of it, reap the benefits. But they end up losing their own life. And creating warfare, they end up losing. And they still end up losing their soul. But like they lost their soul. With this three of swords, I'm just getting like a hole in their heart. And, and it's like they're soulless. Yeah, I feel like this is someone that could be, you know, juggling to receive their soul back. Like could be trying to even do magic to get their soul back. Their soul is entrapped because of what they did to you. Alright, this Queen of Wands that was behind you doing spell work. Alright, I feel like she ended up losing her soul in the process doing all those spells. Could be the masculine too. Because she could even be trying to figure out, like, how I lost my soul. How I lost my soul. You know, I didn't mean to give up my soul. I didn't mean, you know, to stand the third. You know, that's wrong for the spirit to take my soul away. That's wrong. But you went to the spirit to take someone else's soul. And then some of these spirits do eye for an eye. Foot for a foot. So you want that? You want you want to have control over that man? Well, I'm going to have control over you. Or oh, that's just how they work. If you want to work with that spirit, that's just how they get down. All right, you can go tell universe, but, you know, they ain't going against you. You went to them. That's their rules. <laughs> you know, those other souls that they may have, you know, that's their choice. They chose to work with that entity. This is the devil. They chose to work with the devil, and that's just the consequences of working with the devil. It comes with tricks. He, he tricked this karmic out of her soul. He tricked her out of her soul, and that's just what it is. All right, that's giving me rubble steel, rubble steel skin type of vibe. All right, and now every time I think of rubble steel skin, I see a, a, a top hat and I see Papa Legba. All right, I love that man. Okay, I love him. All right, but y'all gotta be careful with him. Y'all don't go to him being greedy. He's gonna trick you out of your soul. And she went to him being greedy, and that's why her third eye is missing. Her ass is fucking confused and depressed. She didn't have to do this. That's exactly what he said. And he tricked to teach lessons. You didn't have to do this. You could have just moved on with your life. You see, this man don't want to be with you. And you know you had to give up a soul to conquer another. You got it. Listen. Don't do that spell work again. That was her warning. Do not do that spell work again. This karmic got tricked out of her fucking soul. And it's being dominated now by the same god, deity, this God can even have control of her spirit, too. Okay, ain't fucking around with you so damn long. Alright, but she's, she fucked around with the wrong spirit. Could even be Papa Legba. And now, you know, this spirit have power and dominance over her. So, no, she can't go back doing that same spell work anyway. Because her ass been sacrificed. Her ass been hanged. She got tricked. Going to, to someone else, to a, to a spirit to trick someone else out of their free will. Alright, that's how it works. You got tricked out of your soul, and that's what this bitch is fucking thinking. I got tricked out of my spirit. Alright, yeah, and people could even be gossiping about it. This bitch wanted to gossip about you losing your soul. What about yours? People's looking at this karmic like, you know, you probably lost your soul too, said Divine Feminine did. What about you? Yeah, you said your ancestors work with this spirit, this darkness. How you, you know, you probably came here soulless, okay? All right, I came here to like, yeah, regain that soul parts back, all right? Certain soul parts meeting you along your spirit, your spiritual journey on earth. But if you're so distracted, you ain't going to never get there. If you constantly fighting demons because you welcoming demons and hanging around demons, you ain't going to never get to, re you know, you, you know, what is it? Reconnecting with your higher self. You're never going to expand on the soul level. You're going to stay in that on that level that you're in that you're at right now karmic all right and this karmic is stressed out right now that's the level they are in the nine of swords all right for trying to soul sacrifice you're trying to block you continuously all right trying to you know you know block people from even like noticing you watching you if you're online all right with this six of swords i feel like you guys have a lot of peace of mind or you're gonna be gaining that back a lot of clarity in your mind while this karmic is stressed out full of thoughts in her head yeah I, i'm getting two energies two different karmics not gonna need two different um people, not karmic. I'm sorry. I'm getting with this Queen of Swords. You having a clear head, 
And I'm getting also with like the Queen of Swords in her shadow or in reverse. Someone that is like discombobulated in their mind. And that can't control their thoughts. Alright, I feel like, you know, you're going to be in this Queen of Swords clarity. And she's going to be in that Queen of Swords reverse. Look like a liar. Nobody can trust her. She's a manipulator already. Trying to call you to be a, call you out for being a manipulator. Somebody try to say you're lying on your downloads. Alright, you're lying about the type of gifts you have. You're lying on your intuition. Like your um your visions. Like she was trying to cut you. Cut is like she trying to cut you out from like being gifted. But I'm mean, that's not the right word. It's almost like she's trying to like take your third eye out. That's so weird. Like use her sword to take out your third eye. Alright, that's so weird. Or like to like, you know, mess it up. And that shit backfired on her and you picked up on it and protected yourself. Spirit told you. She also tried to cover you up so people won't notice you. You high priestess online for some of you guys. Alright, you do whatever whatever you do. Alright, you, you may have many options, many doors opening up for you, many opportunities coming in. Just know she was trying to block you from being noticed. And that backfired on her. Alright, she ain't getting the attention that she wanted yet. And she gossiped a lot. That's what people are saying about her. Like, you gossip too much. You know, you gossip too much about Divine Feminine. You want other people to call her out. Like, won't you do your own dirty work? Alright, like, this cycle is coming to an end. Like, she needs healing. She needs to heal because she's too, in, like, too full of, like, rage. In rage right now. Alright, she wants to, like, disengage and then re-engage with you. Disengage. Like, she's bipolar. Alright, she got a lot of ish going on. And I, I feel like, you know, she needs to, like, seek help. It's not a, something she should brag about. Alright. And, um... Yeah, what I'm going to say, Justice, like, karma is standing out, too. Yeah, like, this person tried to avoid their karma. Like, they don't even want to see karma. Like, they look at karma as evil. All right, but you try to put out karma. You try to send lesson, karma, karmic debt to people. Yeah, double karma. She's facing triple karma, honestly. She's facing triple karma, you guys. Honestly, that's what I'm seeing, triple karma. All right, and that's what she's trying to fight off. She's trying to fight it off. She's trying to fight. She may not know she has triple karma, but I can see it. I don't need three different cards that represents karma to show me. All right, even though I got the Wheel of Fortune. All right, but I didn't tie that with karma. All right, I can just see she got triple karma here, and she's blocked in it. She's stuck in it. She can't get out of it. All right, I don't know why I'm getting somebody's drinking gas. What? All right, Page of Pentacles. I feel like they be, like, creating, like, I'm getting some, okay. I feel like, I don't know, maybe some of the stuff we consume have, like, gasoline in it or something like that. Not healthy. Something that they doing that have gasoline in it. Something they're creating. And they lying to us. I feel like the FDA is going to get sued. It's going to be a big lawsuit against the people in the FDA. All right? Like, literally, that needs to happen. All right? But, um, that. Even the pharmaceutical company. All right? But I feel like, okay, let me tap back in. If somebody... Definitely practiced with some witchcraft and attracted a demon and they didn't know. That demon slipped right on in. Alright? Or they thought that demon wasn't going to follow them. It was going to go to you. wasn't going to be sent back. And uh-uh. That demon, it can't move out of this person's energetic field. Their home is like it's stuck in there. It's almost like trapped in there. It may want to get out too and harass other people. But it's stuck in there. It can't get out. Alright? It's going to take like, you know, a priest or a priestess, a shaman to get this, this entity out. Alright? Because out of the way, spirit... And you know, entrap this energy. It's entrapped, all right, because of this person. All right, trapped them on this damn person because they try to trap you with a demon. And spirit reverse that back. They're gonna need like a priest, like two priests. All right, if they watch them haunting shows, that's what they're gonna need a, a, a priest to to dispel that demon, to reject the demon, and send it back to the ethers. Okay, they need a good priest. Maybe they may even need three. All right, they are seeing shadows. They seeing shit. So some of y'all could be seeing rabbits. All right, some of y'all may get visited by rabbits here. I feel like you guys are empaths and you attract animals, so that's really good. And people could have been jealous of that, that you are, like, you good with animals. Like, somebody thought they was the only empath. Like, no. All right, but with this King of Cups here, I feel like, um, who is this? There's a good man around you guys. There's a good man around you guys that your ancestors approved. They may want you to move forward with this man, but I feel like some of you guys, you could, you've been having a hard time thinking straight, reflecting on this. It's like, <clears throat> you. I feel like you may be reflecting too much on what, what spirit want, what this person want. You need to reflect on what you want. All right. And even with this person, you reflect on what they want. What do you want? Spirit supports what you want. All right. But I do see that spirit do approve of this guy. Like, this is somebody that, you know, I feel like they would push you toward, like, help, like, push you towards in the sense of, like, 
if there was an option or choice between you and between this man and somebody else, I feel like they will push towards this man, this King of Cups, but they're not going to give you the answer. Like, yes, be with him. You may feel gravitated more towards him, and that's a sign from spirit that you should, but a part of you may be in fear. Like, what if it's a lesson? What if spirit guided me towards a lesson? You need to do some inner work. Are you ready? You know what I'm saying? And why would spirit guide you to a lesson that they won't prepare you for? Spirit don't operate like that. And even if you have new spirit guides, all right, that may have changed things, it's like they ain't changing shit to that point where you can't trust them. Nah. Somebody may not want you to trust your spirit guides, all right? Somebody may want a breakup to happen, but you and this king of cups too, all right, or your family, or they want your family to break things up. Somebody wants your family to mess things up, break things up between you and some new lover. And I don't feel like that's going to work with this four pentacles in reverse. It's like, you're not going to allow any restrictions or even financial restrictions get in your way. First of all, I'm getting, you're not going to allow any financial restrictions stop you anymore. And you're not going to allow your family, like, you know, trying to restrict you. And you're not going to allow that to stop you anymore. Now, what I'm also picking up is that you guys are going to, like, have a financial breakthrough. And you're no longer going to be in that four of pentacles. A lot of y'all, y'all going to have enough money where you're going to be blocking people. Like, I don't fucking... And not that you don't need them no more, that type of vibe. But it's like, F you type of money. That's the vibe I'm getting with the seven of ones. Like, F you. What the fuck you want? I don't need your ass. I'm good now. You never did need them. All right? But you're doing good. All right? It's like, F you type of money. That's, that's exactly what I'm getting. Like, no, bye. You're closing the door. You cannot come in. All right? And if I if these people claim you owe them, give them a penny and close the fucking door. All right? But the Hermit, five, yeah, I feel like these people, they are in the Hermit and the Five of Cups. And I feel like they feel weak. Even though they, they claim that they feel strong, they really feel weak. They could still be an ego lion. Leo energy, Virgo energy. Some of y'all could be Leo, Virgo, Cuspers. Taurus energy. I feel like somebody wanted commitment with you, but they just, they moved on. All right. Or they was told that they was moving too fast with you. So they slowed down with you and they end up missing you out. Like, missing the opportunity. I don't feel like they slowed down as in, like, you know, I'm going to just take my time. Like, no, I feel like they slowed down as in... Stop giving you time and energy and start communicating with somebody else. And that's the truth with this Ace of Swords. I feel like some of your karmics is going to try to come back around when things once things get really good for you. Things I feel like is already getting good. But just it's only going to get better. Don't look at your current situation as bad, okay? Look at it as a situation that you cannot control and you need to give it to God. Clear certain energies up that you that is within your control and think positive. Alright, but um because you you're at you ain't dying, star seeds. All right, you know, if you did lose a job, you can always get another job, okay? I lost jobs, too. All right, you can always find another job. It's not the end of the world. All right, if you feel like you're going to be late on rent because you lost your job, talk to the um the landlord. Let them know what happened. Sometimes we just need to, like, you know, accept help and support. We can't always have control of everything. All right, that's why we have spirit around to help us. All right, but um, they, these people are going to be trying to come knocking on your door. Like, oh, hey, let me in. You're going to see the demon still on them. Lock that door. Say, I'm at peace. All right? Now, be gone, demon. And go back to where you fucking belong. All right? I feel like there definitely is a spirit in somebody's house, like a demon in their house. I talked about this around the full moon, and it's because they were playing with voodoo, and that portal or that door was still open. Literally. I feel that, and I feel like somebody could be dying because of voodoo behind their voodoo work. Alright, it's like a whole pile of, like, mess on so Like, somebody is, like... Like, at this point, the Ten of Wands is on top of them. They can't even carry it. And I feel like this weekend, they're going to try to, like, release that. Alright, by trying to send you something, so protect yourself. These karmas, they're still not learning. They're, like, they get all delirious and, like, Estes, I'm going to send this towards you. And then they regret it instantly. Alright, but I feel like they may try to come for you this weekend. Yeah, because this word around town, it says time. I don't know what that means, but I'm getting word around town. All right, it's like you. You word around town. And you're like, you're going to be getting more attention. So it's going to be making this karmic mad. Or somebody around this person going to speak highly of you. Name names. I just heard or saw divine feminine, masculine. They look good and they're going to get all mad. Or even hysterically emotional. Some of y'all could be water signs. Yeah. Divine feminine, masculine. Some of y'all could be water signs. We have water in your chart. That may stand out. Yeah. They're crying because you, you tied up loose ends and you don't want to be with them. You're done with them. And I feel like they're jealous of you. They're really jealous of you. It's like I'm, I'm getting their pulling and pushing from you, calling you a power struggle because they're jealous of you, especially this third party. I feel like y'all may meet the right one at like a party, 
All right, but not like no chaotic party. Maybe like, like you know, at a get-together, you going out. Some of y'all may actually go out, maybe to a club, and you may end up meeting the right one. But I feel like this is like an appropriate club. I don't feel like it's anything that is like inappropriate. All right? Because sometimes them energies at the club be messy. All right? But if y'all do end up meeting somebody like that, that's definitely a good love. Get that! What is wrong with this girl? Not cool, Mina. Sorry. Not cool. Not cool, Mino. Not cool. Not cool, Mino. No, it's definitely not cool. You're messing with my AirPods again. Why are you putting them in your mouth? That's not cool. Hold on, y'all. I gotta put my ear pods in some. All right. Not cool, me no. You know better to do than to do that. All right, but for some of you guys, don't. Yeah, you should cry because I was mean. Anyway, for some of you guys, this was definitely a friend of me. All right, worst friend of me ever. This could even been like your so-called best friend. It turned into a friend of me. That's sad. All right, but um. This friend of me been talking about you, and I feel like you found this out this week, or you're going to find out this week, or this weekend, or within the next few weeks. Or you're going to be picking up a lot about what this friend been doing behind your back between this week and the next few weeks. Alright, and I feel like some of y'all might have thought you met the one, the right one at the club. That's what I'm also getting. But you learned that lesson. It's okay. I forgive you. Come on, they start with an E, Elizabeth. Alright, boundaries. Yeah, y'all had to block this, this X. This karmic friend because they're too damn emotional and they hide it. All right, and and they and they channel it the wrong way. They think they channel their emotions well. No, they're very chaotic. All right, they're they're, they're always upheaval and they always in upheaval energy. And a lot of you guys with this vision is almost like you foresaw yourself like not being with this person very long right before things ended. You just saw it ending because of this person like they was doing nonsense behind your back and you caught and it caught up to them. Gemini, some of y'all can be Gemini's and dealing with a Gemini. All right. Somebody, like Gemini's do talk a lot, so somebody may talk a lot, or somebody may talk someone's business a lot. All right, and I feel like you guys are very lucky. All right, I don't know. I feel like I don't know what else. somebody slender is like. Somebody could be saying, "Oh, you lucky. This, that, and the third ain't work, or or I ain't do this, or I ain't do that." They need to shut up. But I feel like you guys are very lucky. You guys are like lucky people, lucky spirits. All right, this lucky number seven and. What I'm getting is that it's like somebody's slander did not work. It's like you did not get caught up in that. It's almost like that shit missed you. Yeah, and somebody's spell work, I feel like it missed you and, and it went to them. I'm literally seeing like it was supposed to like, I'm oh my God, I'm seeing like the cord, like the connection. It was supposed to connect to you, but it missed that connection to you and it went to them. Literally, all right. I'm literally seeing how that shit was sent in the cosmos. All right, look, this could be a Pisces, or you could be a Pisces, a dingy, delusional Pisces. Somebody be a Gemini and a Pisces. They like, have that in their chart. Wow. They definitely may have two sides to them, flip floppy. All right, and I feel like they need to take care of their spiritual hygiene. All right, they can take a million, a million showers and spiritual baths if they're not, you know, working with the proper energy, energy work magic spells candles their energy their spiritual hygiene is gonna be bad all right and if they speak in negative that's gonna make it worse somebody say they love you today and they hate you tomorrow all right that's the vibe that i'm getting with that 
All right, and this karmic think that this ex love you. Look, pity party. That's what he's telling people. Oh, he love you more, and he don't love me. That's how she get like a pity party. Oh, he love everybody else but me. Trying to turn people into savage modes against you. He really did try to turn people against you. Trying to get them in that savage mode here and, and to do voodoo. All right, against you, Leo. You could be a Leo, y'all. This is just too much inf information coming out, y'all. I'm telling you. All right, somebody is tired of the truth coming out. All right, and I feel like. This shit ain't changing no time soon. It's just straight exposure. All right, with this purchase, I feel like this this person, whoever this Queen of Pentacles is, tried to, this false Queen of Pentacles, this false witch, she tried to purchase a man, his soul, have control over it. By this man's spirit. And I feel like it pissed the spirits off. I feel like this could be some, ooh, ooh, ooh. This could be a man that could have a Orisha crown or head, okay? Or could be, like, mothered or fathered by one of those Orishas. Bless you. By one of the Orishas. And this karmic feminine thought it was smart to burn a candle. All right, an Orisha. Like, I'm seeing her burn, like, an Orisha candle, okay? Or, like, like or, I'm see, yeah, I'm seeing, I'm seeing, like, an African candle. Like, she could have went to, like, an African shop. I'm seeing, like, a Orisha candle. Okay, and I feel like she, and I'm seeing, she burnt the candle specifically to that deity that he represents, that represents him as well, to attack him. And that shit fucked up her crown. Like, her head got so bad. All right, like, her spirit, her head is her spirit, part of her spirit, and also, like, her legit noggin. Like, her plan backfired. She got instant karma. All right, and she could have did this shit to you. She may think she know who your crown is. All right, or your head, all right, Orisha is, or whatever like that. And she tried to attack you with that Orisha, and y'all yeah, still this high priestess. She got karma. All right, y'all ain't even looking back. She, this bitch is after you. You looking forward, all right, with your magic, all right? <laughs> Listen, it's like if y'all know a little something about magic or voodoo, that's okay. You ain't harming anybody. And a lot of you guys, you already initiated and called to do this. You was chosen to do this. It's okay. It was okay for you to do this. And you're not doing any voodoo to hurt nobody. You're not doing any, like, voodoo to harm anyone. Like, for some of you guys, you may have done certain spiritual ancestral work, all right, or magic spiritual work to open certain ways, to bring in certain energy. And this is what you were supposed to do. You are supposed to do this. You are supposed to, you know, work this way for whatever it needs to come in to come in. Some might think you're doing voodoo every day. Every second of the day or every full moon, new moon, or any time you can find an excuse to do a ritual, they think that's what you're doing. And that's not what it is. All right, and they're scared that you're also doing voodoo on them. You may have, I don't know if y'all told this person is they trying to say you told them that. I don't feel like you told them you do voodoo. All right. They could be spying, snooping, or for some of you guys, you may have known this person. They're part of the spiritual community, right? And, and they're trying to say you're doing voodoo. They're crazy. Some of y'all could be Leos. All right. Some of y'all don't even do voodoo, but you, you may know about it. You may know people that do it, all right? You you understand the deeper root and cause of voodoo. is more than just, like, you know, hexing and cursing. But I feel like a karmic, I feel like they were stalking you for a long time. I feel like they're about to be removed very soon, maybe within the next 72 hours. A Virgo, you may hear from a Virgo within the next 72 hours, all right? Take it how it resonates. Some of y'all could be connected with a Virgo somehow, but, yeah. They try. They all try to do voodoo. For them to try to speak against voodoo, they all try to do it. So that's just a little sus to me. All right, especially this friend of me, Leo, keep coming out. I feel like Leo, they did a lot of voodoo against you. All right, because you a high priestess and they think you're doing voodoo. All right, and and even if you're familiar with it, you you a high priestess. All right, you work with other high priestesses. They think that you still doing voodoo on them. And like I said, these are people doing voodoo. They use voodoo to gain, just like how you. But the thing is, the difference is that. You use, you work with African spirituality, Ifa, or whatever the practice of even Santeria to connect with your ancestors and to move certain mountains and to make certain ways for you. And that do include exiting certain people out of your life. Certain people had to exit the building. But you did the proper work. You actually did the proper work to, to make this work. All right? To open the way for you. You actually did the proper work. You could even, you know, did... Some type of road opening for your, your life purpose and your destiny. Open the road for your destiny and life purpose. You could have went to a priest. You know, you paid them something for them to do that, but it was it was the time. This priest could have recommended it. All right, they could have even did it for free. All right? 
Who do these people know? They could have did it for free. Or you guys could have paid like $500. All right. Whatever. Whatever you had to do. But it was beneficial. And these karmics started panicking the moment that you got your crown back and you tapped into your power. All right. They see you as a divine feminine and masculine. All right. This Taurus that you could have had to cut off or you was a Taurus had to cut somebody off. You could have been a Scorpio. Had to cut either a Taurus off or a Taurus had to cut off a Scorpio. Y'all could definitely be opposites. But y'all transitioning. I feel like y'all definitely asked the spirits to help you transition your life. And that's exactly what they did. All right. But, you know, you didn't realize it would have came with warfare. Like, Carmen's trying to fight against it. All right. But you're protected against it. That's the blessed part about it. And a lot of you guys, y'all just, y'all know a lot. And y'all feel a lot of energy and emotions like your own. So that what confuses you and make you think that, oh, you know, I'm being attacked by voodoo, witchcraft, you know, and, but I mean, like, y'all be feeling, I know what y'all be feeling. Y'all be feeling restriction. Y'all be feeling them trying to burn a candle on you, but I feel like that's a part of the experience, too, for you to grow on a soul level. All right, so you can know, you know, when, when you feel this, again, to clear up your energy, because somebody's sending you work. So they're going to try many different ways. Not all of them are going to do the same spell. They're all going to try, like, well, and their outcome may be the same, but you may feel it differently. All right, from the, the time when you was being attacked with this karmic. It's just to, like, build you up spiritually, too, so don't panic. All right, some of you guys don't even, like, feel guided to, like, run to a practitioner anymore. If you once did, you used to go to a practitioner. You don't feel, like, guided to do that. Or maybe, like, you know, your priest, high priestess, you don't feel guided to do that. You feel like you're good on your own now. You just need to trust spirit and trust in your ancestors and don't doubt what they tell you. And, you know, know the difference between spirit and, like, a karmic trying to mess with you. All right, because I feel like karma is always trying to get into your head to make you think and believe this download is from spirit, that download is from spirit, and it ain't come from spirit. All right, they're going to get cursed for that, too. Crosses for that shit, too, because that's dark and manipulative. Why you want to do that? Just to mess with somebody's fucking head, just to say, oh, I, I accomplished something. I messed with someone's head. That's a huge accomplishment in the spirit. No, it's not. The hell? Over here trying to fight against the spirit, snatching your soul when you got tricked out of your soul trying to control somebody else and, and have somebody else's soul, pretty much. All right, you asked a, for this person's soul, this karmic man. Basically, you did trying to have control over him and keep him forever. So the spirit took yours. You should have seek better guidance about the spirit's karmic before you and snooping. All right, in, in, in spirituality, thinking you're going to get your way. Okay. Because your ass is definitely fake. Okay, honey? You don't got to pretend to me, divine feminine, masculine, God, spirit, universe. Because we all see the truth. All right, just admit to your faults, your shortcomings. You feel like there's no shortcomings, then why the fuck are you here? Why are you here in this energy? All right, and move on. Look, love. Love is my collective overall energy. All right, and passion. You guys are connected with your passions, your life purpose, and you love it, and you need to keep doing it, period. And this karmic, if they want to keep trying to, you know, create karmic contracts for you that's supposed to stop you from fulfilling your passion, which is never going to work. It's going to work on them to stop them from coming for you. All right, it's backfiring. All right, the, the more they try to do that, though, the more they're going to be exited out of your life. All right, we got a contract. I'm just seeing them trying to create a bad contract. That backfired on them and they're stuck in it and they can't get out of it. Look, they love you and they do miss you with this grief and sadness. All right? It's like they, they want to feel loved again. This could be an ex-masculine, all right, specifically. But I feel like there's also like a karmic feminine that's in grief and sadness while you are in that love energy. And I feel like a lot is unfolding for you within divine timing. So trust in divine timing. Like whatever your passion is and how and whatever energy you're putting in your passion is going to unfold naturally. All right, and I feel like this karmic is, is missing a huge piece or part of the contract. Like, they missed the fine lines in the contract with with, with the spirit, Papa Legba, Rebel Steel Skin. Okay, they should have did better. All right, they should have separated from the spirits when they had that chance. All right, whatever. Listen, the key. They should have detached from that spirit that had the key to give them what they want. Because in due time, the spirits will allow you to enjoy that. But they're going to come back. And they ain't going to freaking leave until they get what they want. They know you're going to fight for, you know, your soul. So, in, in the end, they just confuse you and, 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 and bound you to, to whatever you need to be stuck to. All right, because this is what you called on yourself. You did not expect that, but that doesn't mean that it wasn't going to happen just because you didn't expect it. All right, so, yeah, this karma's be confused. You, you, you got to do better. 
My collective ain't out here collecting souls and sacrificing souls and bounding men. All right, to a nah. Mm-mm. No way. Just because you, just like somebody may think because you attracting a man, you have a man in your life, or you attracting a new love now, right? That, um... You got to be doing some love spell or asking the spirits to bind. You're not doing all that. They trying to say they see you trying to do love spells and bound. Like, that's what they do. That's what they do. You don't got time for that. You 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 don't even ask. Like, they trying to say you ask the spirits to keep y'all love whole, full, complete or whatever. And, and that's enough for the spirits to want to come back for a sacrifice. No. If you ask the spirits to bless y'all connection, that's righteous. They're not going to come back and want to take that. Like, come on now. Stop. And these are righteous spirits. Papa Legba is still righteous. Your ass just got to be mature and grown to work with him. So you will know better than to ask him, all right, for, you know, control and dominance over a man that's meant to be temporary in your life. That's a false twin. All right, a lot of these karmics, man, they, they, they just in temporary emotions. Even if it was five years, it's still temporary because you ain't, you ain't going to be in that energy five years later. It's still temp. All right, they need to freaking follow the synchronicities of the fact that they need to fucking heal and be patient with life and love. Allow love to come. Do not be trying to enforce love or love connection on somebody that wants a dead end with you, that want to dead it with you. You you like toxic relationships with breakup and makeup. You feel like that's your destiny, that's your heart. You should follow its toxicity and go ahead. But you can't get mad at anybody else who don't want to go down with you, okay? Period. But I love y'all. So much, you know what I'm saying?